I am coming to the conclusion that Final Cut Pro will never compete with professional software like DaVinci Resolve, Avid, and others. I don't think Apple even wants it to. In their eyes, Final Cut Pro has a much bigger purpose. And if played out right, Apple may fill a huge hole that is opening up in the creative space. Final Cut has always been an easy to use app. Simplified, streamlined, and user-friendly. Many of the decisions are made for the user. Where apps like DaVinci Resolve, Premiere, and Avid, while very powerful, do require a good foundation to get the most out of them. And that's not what Apple is best known for. So why would they want to make it more powerful in a way that professionals would want it? Apple is best at taking complex ideas and making them work the Apple way. And at this point, Final Cut Pro's biggest competitor is not the DaVinci Resolve or Premiere Pro. It's CapCut. CapCut has taken the idea of simplified to a whole new level. AI tools that remove backgrounds, speech to text, text to speech, auto color correction, reframing, upscalers, even collaborations, templates, music, graphics, all built in and mostly all free. There are online editors, desktop and mobile versions. This is where Final Cut was meant to shine and had the best chance to capture that core creative audience, the creative consumer. And for me, this makes complete sense. Apple has always been the champion for the creative journey, making it easier and more accessible for everyone to create whatever they wanted. And with the potential ban of CapCut, this is Apple's opportunity to win back users in that free market and sell more hardware and in turn, make more money. This should have been Apple's space to dominate from the start, but instead they fumbled pretty hard and at best lackluster sporadic updates at worst, just ignoring the creative community that loved the app because it wasn't really worth Apple's time to begin with. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm pretty sure that the Pro Apps team would love to develop and release all these great features for Final Cut Pro, but they probably have to wait for it to come to the operating system as a whole before they can implement it in Final Cut. I can only imagine how frustrating it could be to know that it can be done, but not being able to do it. These features may come to Final Cut Pro at some time, but what is Apple's incentive to do that? For the Pro space, there's DaVinci Resolve and Adobe that are doing great jobs at making strong apps that work great on Apple's hardware and pushing what is capable with AI and content creation. And for the consumer, there's CapCut that does it all for free with all the simplicity. So why would Apple need to put in the resources to make their apps better when it's already being done for free by other companies? So Apple now has an opportunity to fill that gap, pun intended, that would be created by the ban of CapCut for the vast majority of creative users that love Apple hardware. The reason a lot of people love CapCut is because of its simplicity to create very simple but great looking content easily with a few clicks. Many people only want to be able to edit faster, but still at a great quality. And right now, Apple has that opportunity to catch that user base by serving a huge creative community that may be soon looking for an alternative to CapCut. And at this point, release it on Windows just for good measure. Otherwise, I feel that Final Cut Pro has peaked and plateaued, and the user base will continue to shrink from here on out, regardless of what small incremental updates they release, as Final Cut Pro is already three years behind. What are your thoughts? Should Apple pursue the creative consumer or get hyper-focused on the professional? Or remain where it is now as a hybrid of both? And if you wanna learn why CapCut could get banned, make sure you check out this video as things could get interesting. As always, thanks for watching.